want to do is thank my new patrons, Kat and Catherine. Thank you very much for becoming a member, a premium plus member of my JML Journals Patreon. And um, just want to thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm hoping you are enjoying your happy meal. And with that, um, this is something that I made for uh, the Happy Mail. And I actually did an entire video making these and then my computer crashed right after I had completely edited the video. And um, yeah, I lost the entire thing. So I don't have the video on how I made these little journaling cards, but I can just quickly show you some of them. I decorated the front and on the back there's some writing space and I use some old vintage papers and some old it's like a Canson artist paper that I ripped a piece out and an old uh, not even an old but a packaging paper and a feather that was on a napkin and then I stamped it so and put some lace on top and I pretty much made uh, I made five of them and they're all pretty pretty close um, in 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 style. So there you go. And today I'm going to show you um, how I I'm going to display a little fake flower in the center of these little coin holders. You can get these online you might even be able to get them at Walmart or places like that but they're they're coin holders and there are different styles but um, that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna decorate the outside of that but I want to put and find my flowers here's some flowers and I have others too I need five of them I get these at Hobby Lobby. I love them. They're nice and light and flat so that um, they go nicely in a book. And they should fit. That one's a little bit book. I might have to trim them down a little bit, but even if I don't, that's what it's gonna look like when it's closed up inside the coin holder. And let me see if this one will fit. I think I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> it's like that one looks really cute. I like that one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use that one. I need five of them. I'd like them to be small enough to fit right in the circle. This one will this one will do. That one will fit better. This one, this one's like a half one. Oh, I like this one because it looks like a, but it's still kind of big. Let me go get my other packages. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. All right. These, these are white ones. I wanted to use some colorful ones, and this is something else. But it doesn't, doesn't look like I have any colorful ones that are smaller. Um, let me try this one. It's, they're from the Paper Studio, and they're $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. I went online and found them on sale for half price, so I bought I bought a few packages. Um, so you can find them, hopefully still, in the Hobby Lobby website. All right, that one fits. Did I, did I say this one fit? I think this one fit too. Like I said, I need five of them. That one fit pretty good. And one more. Oh, I like this one. I think that one might fit. That one fits okay. I mean, that one fits pretty good. How about this one? 
That looks like it'll fit even better. Yeah, that one fits better. All right, I have my five. That's what I need for now. Even have the leaves. That would look pretty in there too, let's see. Oh, that looks nice too. You can see that. So that would look that would look really pretty as well. Okay. Put these aside. And these ones, these are the ones that I'm going to make. So let's start off with this one. Well, let's let's do this one. And the first thing we need to do is glue this shot. You can, they, you know, normally you would staple it. If there was a coin in there, you would just staple it down. But I like, I want it to be nice and flat. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to try, I don't think it, I think the regular, my your regular adhesive, because there's a shiny surface on here, it didn't stick very well. I'm going to try this Fabric Fix and see if that works any better. Try not to put too much on there because I don't want it to squish into the center. Yeah, that looks like it's going to stick very well. And to be sure, I'm going to put a weight on it. What can I put weight? Oh, that's, that's almost empty, so that's not going to be... Yeah. All right. Put a weight on it and do another one. Yeah, right here, look at that. Yeah, the Fabrifix works pretty good. Let's check our other one. Okay, that one's good. Let's work on that one. Alrighty. Oop. Okay, let's go ahead and work on that one. What do you want to stick on it? I want to... There's a whole, not a whole lot of surface around it, so there's not a whole lot of decorating you can do. So I'm going to take just little tiny little pieces of paper and put it on there and glue it down. Let's see. I know I'm being picky. I'm just going to, I know there's going to be an easy way to do this, but I'm just going to cut it out by hand. I can find my scissors. Is this picky? It's picky. I don't like my pencil marks there, so I'm going to erase my pencil mark. Well, it's kind of wonky. How can I do this? 
I know. Let me see if I can find something the same size as that circle. Too big, too small. That one's close. That one's closer. Looks like it's just about just the right size. Look at that. So I'm going to take this and discard that. And now I can draw a circle. I suppose if you have a circle cutter that's the right size, you can go ahead and cut it out with a circle cutter. But I do not have, you know, another thing you can do is take the center out of one of these pieces and use it as a template, you know? That might be even easier. But then you'll be destroying one. But they're not very expensive. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. If I can. See if I can. Now that I said that, let's see if I can actually do that. Alright, I destroyed it. This for a template. That worked pretty good, didn't it? Look at that. So that worked as well. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that one on there. And I'm going to use my glitter glue or my art glitter. on this side is not really enough to turn over and this side I am going to turn it over You know what? I wanted to grunge up the edge first, and I didn't do it. Yeah, I wanted to take and grunge up that edge first. So this one's not going to be grunged. You know, with a dauber and the ink pad. But that'll look nice, all covered.
Now this is what I wanted to do. Before I stuck it down. too thick. So I'm cutting the corner out a little bit there. Like that. Just to take some of the the bulk out of that corner. And I'm squishing the glue down a little bit with my finger so that it doesn't squish out as much because I don't want it to squish out into the center. So when I put the circle template down, I just, I line it up with the edge that I can see, which is right here. I just line it up till it matches that, and then I can get that part of it. And these scissors are great. These are a clover. They're called Clover EX-135. It's actually e Clover EX-135. And I get them on Amazon, and they're, they're really, actually, they're kind of expensive. But so worth it to me, because I do a lot, a lot, a lot of fussy cutting. Um, I just love to, I like, I just like to fussy cut stuff. <laughs> I can sit there and cut paper for for hours at a time it's to me it's very soothing and I'll do it you know in front of the TV or actually I watch Netflix on my computer I don't watch the TV very much and I forgot to do this one again of course I did. Was I off camera? Sorry.
probably an easier way to do it. You know, if I like made a little collage and then put this on there afterwards and cut around it like that, we're going to try it that way next. All a learning process, right? I mean, you may want to have it sticking over the edge, but I don't. I want it to make... Yes, I didn't put a whole lot of thought into this because that seems to me would work out really well if you made the collage first and then just cut the template out. Right? Right. like that. I wish it was on this side. Okay. This is a little piece of a napkin. Normally I would use matte medium, but it's just a small, small area where I want to stick this napkin down. pointy brush and I can tear this part of the napkin out that I don't want. I just use my fingernail and just kind of tore it right out of there. getting too fussy again. 
All right, I need to put on there next. Now it's all completely covered. I think it's okay just the way it is. I can write something on there. I think I'll write something right down there. And I'm just gonna write, or you can stick a number, but I'm just gonna put, I don't know, one, my pencil, one, two, five, six. It's not really showing up very well, so I might do something else, but I just wrote down. Now let's, let's try the other way that I said. First make a little collage. I'm going to make a little collage on this piece of paper. And I'm going to use my glue stick. Was my cover somewhere and I can't find my boy I'm you, I'll just use this everything just rolling away And then I can just cut this out after. Why didn't I make the whole one? I don't know. Let's just stick that together like that. I'm just going to stick this right there. about your discombobulated, right? I was so upset when I lost an entire video, and that video came out pretty good, too. <laughs> but, you know, life happens, doesn't it? Okay, let's put a little of this in there. I'm kind of testing this to see where it will go. That piece really isn't very big. And I can't find another one. See, I still have stuff all over my desk from working on those journal cards. Oh, here's my glue thing. Oh, here's some, here's some map too. This glue stick is the Gorilla Glue. It works pretty good, um, but I did not test it, you know, to see how long it's going to last. You know, sometimes they uh, come loose after after a while, but I'm going to seal this whole thing 
with some matte medium afterwards. I'll just paint the whole thing with some matte medium and that should seal it down really nicely. All right, how are we doing here? There's really a, not a whole lot of room around there, so that'll be okay, that'll be okay. What else do we want to put on there? Let's see. Yeah. for scrappy paper with some sort of design on it. That's enough. Let's see how it comes out. Did it make it big enough? Look at that. It didn't make it big enough. All right, I can fix that. Like I said, discombobulated today. cut it out anyways. <laughs> what else? Another piece of the map. All right, that'll be big enough. I might have just throw this video away. <laughs> All right, I should have decorated this side of it because I'm folding it over like that. But so I'm just going to tear right down the center.
and cut one out. <laughs> oh my goodness. My goodness. snipping into this I folded it in half in the middle of that circle and snipped a little snip in there and then I can stick my scissors right in there and start cutting around I like to keep the line on the left side of my scissors I'm actually coming up from underneath the in in underneath and sticking my scissors through the hole or the top part of the scissors through the hole and then I can just go ahead and cut around. There's probably an easier way. I always like to do things the hard way. It makes things more interesting. My patrons are going to love these. <laughs> Actually, I think they're going to come out really nice. So I just cut like a little circle out of the middle there and then I can stick my scissors from underneath and start cutting around that line and the line is on the left side of my scissors. That's how I fussy cut things. That's a little bit damp right there, so it's a little tougher to cut through. Ideally, you'd want to let your glue dry. Now, I want to show you some of the fussy cut things that I do. Here's, here's one. I mean, this is how extreme I get when I fussy cut something out. I mean, I've cut just about everything out of there, except, you know, a few pieces there that I'll go in later with my X-Acto knife. But yes, I'm, I'm very fussy when it comes to fussy cutting. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. Okay. Being careful so I don't rip it. Let's see, thin edges. And line it up as best as the best as best as as best I can. And being as it's a glue stick I should be able to adjust adjust it a little bit and you know what I didn't do yes you know what I didn't do 
I didn't grunge out the, the circle like that. Grunged. This is a Bondo spreader, I think is what they call it. And you can find sets of three. I don't know where the third one is, but there are sets of three. This one is a, a middle size one. Uh, I think I drop it on the floor. Um, but sets of three, and they last forever. You can use a credit card, of course, you know, but I had these, so they're, they're really nice. They work out great, and they're nice and heavy. Um, this one's full of glue, and you can just scrape the glue off. But anyways, yeah, I like those. Okay, now let's see if I can find the scent that where I need to fold it. Yes, that doesn't work out, does it? Okay, so you have to slit at the center. I'm just taking the shambles of this. So I'm going to take my exacto knife and cut through that paper. So this is not working out either. There, I just put a slit in the paper so that I can bend it over. So I'm almost thinking the first one I did, wherever it is, worked out just as easily as this one did. And I like this one better because I got over the edges. So it depends on what way you want to do it, but I actually like this way better. It's It made a nice, a neater little package here and plus it's sealed in the edges which I like that as well so I'm going to work a little bit more on this one to get it to do the same thing I didn't get the circle around there I'm just tracing sort of tracing around that circle there so I'm fussy. I can't help it. I'm fussy. You know, part of the paper, when I cut it, I didn't cut right on the center of that, so I'm just going to take and cover that as well. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't have to cover both sides, so I don't know why I did that. I'm telling you. It's not been... I'm t my brain is mush. It's after After losing my computer, oh my god. I was so afraid um, of how much data I was going to lose. I mean, I have so much on my Etsy designs, um, Patreon designs, but luckily, you know, everything that I wanted to get into Etsy and Patreon were, were done. Um, 
but I had other other designs that I was still working on and that's all gone except for the ones that I did actually um, I did a, a download you know I try to download onto an external drive as often as I can and but it had been like 25 days so within that 25 days all of that was lost completely that was a real bummer. Yeah, I was pretty upset. I was very upset. But good for me, I can say. Good for me. I I downloaded try this. So let's get that flower in there <laughs> before I forget that too. Hey, which I almost did, didn't I? All right, I know I used fabric fix on this. Talk about your bubble head. Bullhead today. somewhere under there. I'll have to get it later. I don't know how many thumbs down I'm going to get on this one. Remember this time. Didn't remember that side though.
Yes, I so much like this one better. The way we did it before. What I'm really doing is repairing mistakes I made on this one. baby wipe, which I keep on my desk at all times. I just have this edge and that little corner there. So my first instinct worked out much better. You just put some washi tape on there too.
I don't want to cut into the cellophane, yeah. Just that little corner right there. I'm going to put in that little corner piece of this. That one's done. And there you are. I've got two made, and I think I've tortured you enough, so I'll let you go. And uh, thumbs up or thumbs down if, you know, if you don't like all the boo-boos I made. And um, go ahead and watch my other videos. I've got quite a collection of them now. And if you want to become a Patreon member, um, you will get a happy mail once a month. If you are a Patreon Premium Plus member on JML Journals, and you'll get a happy mail, and I usually get, you know, almost 50 pieces in there, which include ephemera, old vintage ephemera, real, the real old vintage ephemera, and maybe some digitals, but mostly it's the original digital I mean the the original ephemera and what else some lace some fabric some um, all kinds of stuff some craft supplies some um, I I just I, from month to month it's always different so um yeah and again thank you to my new patrons and I will see you next time you have a great day bye bye